Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to episode number 14 of the Iron Botting Iron Man Progress series, the last episode before my Dead Man series starts. Uh, obviously, we're going to continue with the Iron Botting series, but uh, I'm still working on a name for my Dead Man series. Uh, I'm not sure. I might make up a straw poll, put it in the description, see what I can come up with, see what you guys like. But, uh, anyways, this video had a lot of setbacks. One being I got really sick and my throat was kind of fucked up. It's still kind of fucked up, but at least now I can record. Uh, I really, I was losing my voice and it was just terrible. I've already started working on episode number 15, gathering clips for that. So that'll be out sooner than usual. Uh, and a branch fell on my car, so I had to deal with that because insurance wasn't going to cover that. So uh, yeah, that was interesting. So uh, without further ado... Here is the longest episode I have ever released, episode number 14. Enjoy, guys. So here's our loot from Kingdom. Got a lot of coal. Let's go make some steel bars, maybe some cannonballs. We'll see. All right, so right now we're doing some mother load mines so we can get that smithing level to make the mithril 2H for that elite that I said I was going to do fucking years ago. Um, and eventually we're going to get 70 in all stats. Right now we're just going to bang out 70 mining. Should only take like a day or so. So let's get her done. So there's been a lot of talk recently about skilling pets for skills, like really rare to get. And I was thinking, what if for woodcutting, the pet was the Weeping Willow from Harry Potter? How fucking sick would that be? Decided to do some Venonatus right when I go there. Connection loss. Nice servers. Very nice. Cool. This is why you don't go to Venonatus, kids. Can't even get a kill. Finally, we're hitting. And there we go, we got a kill. 60 room knives, and... Back to skill. I never go bossing, but when I do, I DC. Yeah, fuck this shit, dude. Fuck this shit. Fuck this. And there we go, 60 farming. We can now do U trees and Varak Achievement Diaries hard, I believe. Hard to use. Not sure. That awkward moment when you bring black beehive vans instead of blue. At least we're on Ancients. Whee! About to get our clue scroll loot. And we got another clue. Never gotten this clue before feel all confused like one of those cakes. About to get our loot. Third age May chat incoming. He stops moving. And here we are coming in with the 60 smithing. We can now boost pretty easily to make a Mithril 2H for that elite we've had in the bank for like seven episodes. So let's go get her done. All right, so we got a plus five boost. Let's go make this Mithril two-hander and hopefully we don't get the same clue back to back. I got the easiest challenge clue scroll from uh, Sherlock. Equip a dragon scimitar. Let's get the loot. And another clue. And the loot. Wow. Alright, so we're on our way to pick up our reward from the hard clue that we got from Black Dragons uh, during Slayer. And uh, I've just been thinking, what are some long-term goals that I want to go for? Obviously, we have the uh, Guffin skirt that we're going to be going for. Uh, but that's like a work in progress, like probably never gonna get it. Go for like 5,000 chests, not get it. Uh, so we're like looking for other things to do. What do you guys think about me going for Ranger Boots and DFS? It would be minimal videos, but I'd probably do it when Dead Man comes out so I can just AFK Wyverns or like, uh, you know, for the most part, AFK Guards while I uh, play Dead Man on another account. What do you guys think about that? Tell me in the comments. So here we are picking up our reward. Let's see what we get. 
and crap. Oh, Cerdo and Plate Body, not bad. We got some sweets for fire caping, I guess. It's only really use for them. Not bad at all. All right, well, we just finished our 17th medium, and we didn't get Ranger Boots, but we did get Narda Teleports, which we needed badly, and a Cat Mask. God bless. That is one hell of a task. Wow. All right, I didn't get it on vid, but last night we got 83 defense, which got us 110 combat. Wark. So we just finished our 58th hard clue from Hellhounds, and this is the loot. Some okay, alchemals, bars, decent, standard. So we just hit 50 mil XP, and... 62 farming. We can now grow snapdragons. Very nice. Just finished another hard clue from Bloodvelds, and we got nothing really good. Alright, so we're 69 Hunter, we just gained two levels, and we're almost 70, and then I think we're gonna take a break with Hunter, and I've been contemplating something pretty interesting. I've been thinking about getting 91 fishing for the Elite Mauritania Diaries, because I already have almost all the other requirements. All I need is like 20 fire making levels, which is pretty easy. I already got all the logs I need to get that. And uh, I can get 91 fishing and boost up to 96. But I've just been debating whether I should do this, because as you can see, you get 10% more Slayer XP when you're in the Slayer Tower. Uh, and you get a Bone Crusher, which provides full Slayer, or full Prayer XP which would be uh, really, really good for Wyverns when I decide to do those. Uh, and you get access to a new herb patch, so... I mean, there's a lot of bonuses to getting those 20 fishing levels and 20 fire making levels that I need, but I don't know how much time it would take, uh, considering that I like to do a lot of AFK stuff. I think I could get it done within like a week and a half, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're about to hit 70 Hunter. And there it is, 70 Hunter. Very nice. We've gotten about 90K XP per hour uh, for the past two hours. We've got about 180K XP, a little bit over that. And uh, not really bad. Wow. Might go for 80, don't know. Just did the easy clue that we've had in our bank for ages, and Amulet of Magic T. Not bad. Alright guys, so right now we're on our way to DK's. Me and Project Cast, he's going to be taking Prime, and I'm going to be getting Supreme and Rex. First time killing Supreme. Let's get that Archer Ring. So here's what our inventory looks like after we did one kill of Supreme. Nothing good, but um, yeah. Second kill at Rex, and nothing. So, you can't really do Supreme and Rex. You kind of either have to do all three, or only one. Kind of hard. I got three kills, got 69 U-logs. The rest is junk. Meh. Just doing Rex now. Oh my god, B-Ring again! Kill 167! <laughs> <laughs> B-Ring again, dude! Kill 167! <laughs> Kill 167 B-Ring! Kill 167 B-Ring! Three B-Rings and 167 kills at Rex. Holy fuck. <laughs> like, one, two, three... Three of these were Rex, so one, two, three... No, three of these were Supreme, so one, two, three kills into the... Uh, into the trip and I got a B-Ring. That's so troll, holy fuck. Give me a fucking dragon axe. God damn it. That's a pretty cool drop. In the spirit of me and my prayer pot saving methods, you actually don't even need food or prayer pots to do solo Rex. You can just, if you use the ancient method like I'm using, you can just heal with the uh, <clears throat> with uh, Blood Blitz and use Ice Burst when you're full HP. And you can heal off the Spino Lips when you're uh, not fighting Rex himself. You don't actually need prayer unless 
like these start hitting really hard but if you have a lot of runes it's really really easy to sustain here Guthans would be a lot better because I wouldn't have to waste runes but I have a ton of runes to spare because of Barrows so yeah rip 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 oh all right so we just finished our 60th clue scroll we got armadillo plate body pretty good Shut up, Jeep. Well, there it is. 94 mage. Well, how can those battle stats we had from 85 crafting? Very nice. All right, so I just finished out in those air battle stats that we had from crafting, and we got about 18.3 mil cash. And I went and I bought 15k feathers from Port Serum, and now I'm going to buy 15k unfinished broad bolts and make some broad bolts for Barrows and Wyvern. So let's go do it. Back on that Barrows grind, chest 1,356, and we got an elite. Get her down. The first uh, Mithril 2H skill challenge that we had, it took us like three tries to get the boost to make the Mithril 2H. And the one that we just had on step 10 took us around two hours to get a boost for, which was like 30 ish tries. So uh, we finally got it, made the Mithril 2H, and uh, let's go see if we get some loot. And the loot is another clue. And the loot on step 12 is absolute junk wow wow at least we got a unique i guess Took six elites all right so what we're doing right now is we're getting our nmz points to imbue our slayer helm and our berserker rings so what we got to do is we got to sit at nmz the easiest mode to do is endurance uh, hard mode and that means only one boss spawns at a time so you last even longer because there's no point in a bunch of them spawning even if it is slightly better points it's going to be more efficient to do endurance if you're an iron man um this is my first run i just did like a garbage run just so i could get some absorption pots uh shout out to iron dash for helping me out with the setup and uh what to bring and what to do but yeah i find this method is really efficient i tried hard rumble and i pretty much rage quit and didn't ever want to come here because it was hard as fuck. So yeah, let's get our shit imbued and yeah. Oh my God, this guy. And just for the record, I just missed the tick, but every like 50 seconds or so, you're supposed to double click rapid heal so you don't restore that hit points because as you can see, now my absor or absorption is draining really crazy, so. All right, so I didn't get it on vid, but 1700 total level. All right, chest 1,372, and we got ourselves another elite. Let's get her done. All right, so we're doing an elite we got from Barrows, and we are on step number nine, and we have all this stuff now, but we need to get the proselyte hauber. So we gotta go do wanted. And there it is, wanted quest complete. Now all we gotta do is slug menace, and we can finish this elite. See what I did there? There we go, Slug Man is complete. Now let's go get this elite done. All right, odds are that this is the loot. Let's see what we get. Wow. All right, so we're about to open our 1,400th chest. And we've done about 80 chests or so where we kill all the brothers. Uh, we've done 80 chests or so since the last vid where we've killed all the brothers. And, uh past like 20 or so have been speed runs with just Guthans and DH and we haven't got shit from any of that. Uh, so here we go. Chest number 1,400 and nothing. So after being like 200 chests dry, we got another elite, still no bearers pieces and we're speed running right now. So rip. So we just finished our eighth elite. Let's take a look at the loot and it's garbage. And there we go, we just got 84 Slayer, 307k off of 85, and I don't think we're going to be attempting the Abyssal Sire because there's nothing really that good from there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we're still going for 87 for Zorda, but we got a few goals in mind right now. No Guth and Skirt Luck, might go back there, but uh, yeah. So we just completed our 61st Hard Clue Scroll on our Iron Man, and we got 3rd Age Plate Legs. Just kidding. It's armored up chest, but we got Guthix page one. Let's see if we needed that page. Let's go. The one Guthix page that we had. Fuck. 
Oh my god. So I decided that until we hit 87 Slayer, we're kind of running out of content, so why not go for 99 Strength? So we're here using the D-Skim, just got 97, 1.1 mil off 98. Let's get our first 99, boys. Alright, so we're about to open our loot from the clue scroll we got from Hellhounds. Let's see what we get. And another clue. Alright, so now we got the loot. Let's see what we get. And junk. So we're about to open our clue that we got from Hellhounds at the end of our task. Let's see what we got. Alrighty then. So, I've killed 716 gargoyles, and I just got Mystic Robe Top Dark. Weird. I think that's rare. And then two kills later, I got a Granum All. I think that's the third one in 700 kills. So we just opened our 64th hard clue scroll and we got Guthix page 3. That's the page we needed. Not bad. Not overly good. Whatever. Alright, so we're about to get the loot from this clue that we got from Gargoyles. And we are 39k off 85 Slayer. Let's see what we get. Armored up page 3. Let's see if we need it. And it turns out we already had two of them. GG. And there we go, 85 Slayer, two more levels until Zora, Kraken, and God Wars Dungeon. Let go. We just got 98 strength, one more level until our first 99. We're about to open our loot from this clue. Let's see what we get. Uh, could be worse. I feel like all we're doing this episode is clue scrolls. Let's see our loot and... Alrighty. And there's the 86 Slayer, one more level, and we are also 160k away from 99 Strength. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's not spec a 0-0, zero, zero. I'm 20 XP off. And V the victim sitting over there. Alright, where do I go, where's the guy? Alright, I like count down from like 3 when you do this. Alright, I'm gonna count down from 3. Alright, 3. Two, one, Neom. 99 strength, baby. Oh, dude, I suck your defense, bro. My fucking accomplishment's way better. <laughs> what? 99 strength, whoop de doo. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, congrats, now I can never yeah, use this D skim again. I'm dropping this shit. Where is this yeah, thing? Dude. Hold on, let me drop let me, this. Let me watch you uh, <laughs> high off that shit. Yeah, I'll cut right now. now. You want me to alk it? Do it. Nah, because oh, you still need it for elites. <laughs> Let's get the cape. Whee! May I have a skill cape of strength, please? What the hell is that? Already, man. fucked it up, dude. Fucked everything up. Fuck, dude. that looks fucking mid sexy, brah. <coughs> that is pretty hot. Not gonna lie. That is pretty hot looking. Get shredded. Get shredded. Sorry guys, my voice is really fucked up right now. I have a sore throat. But after getting 99 strength, we have now become the 174th person to get 99 strength on their Iron Man. That is fucking crazy. Can't believe only 174 people have 99 strength. Wow. I got 112 combat. Didn't even notice. Lul. There is no way that that just happened. Holy fuck. I got two mystic tops within a hundred kills of this task and it's a one in five twelve drop rate and now we have three of them after 1200 kills we just bounced out our drop rates interesting very very interesting so there we go we just finished our 300th slayer task and we are 200k xp off of 87 we've gotten about 500k or so slayer xp and we still have not gotten Abyssal Demon task, which is really disappointing considering it's the most common task. So uh, hopefully we get one soon. I shit you not. First task after 300 tasks and we get Abyssal Demons. Holy shit. Holy shit. First Abyssal Demon task right after finishing 300 Slay tasks. Holy shit. 
That is crazy. We've done about 50 tasks and we've canceled like probably like 30 tasks or 20 tasks around there. We've never gotten an Abyssal Demon task. First task after 300 and we get it. That is insane. Almost missed it. I wasn't even watching my screen and I turned back and I have a whip drop on the ground. We had five kills left in the task. I thought all hope was lost. And on the 232nd kill since 85 Slayer, we have another whip. That's two whips within 232 kills. That is crazy. Wow. Now we pretty much have a placeholder for all of our good items. That is crazy. All right, we're here closing out on the last stretch of 87 Slayer, 100k away. And we got another Abyssal Demon task. Hell to the yes. Sorry about my voice, guys. I kind of sound like a cancer patient, but we just got a Dragon Medhelm on a, like our third kill of the task. That's pretty good, huh? And there it is, 87 death and 113 combat. All right, so I'm so close to 87 Slayer that after I just finished my last task, I was already thinking I was 87 Slayer. So I went and I canceled like four tasks in a row and there weren't bad tasks. And then I just realized, hey, I'm not 87 Slayer. Can't get Kraken tasks. <laughs> Fuck. So that's a pretty cool drop uh, on my second Wyvern kill of the task. Elite clue scroll. Very nice. And we just got 88 def. Well, we did it, boys. We finally got 87 Slayer and my voice. All right, so we just finished the Fire Giants task and we we're 87 Slayer. So let's try and get that Kraken task. Let go. Oh, that's a good task. Let's skip it. All right, so we just skipped it. We got 325 points left. Let's try and get it. Ah, 203 Abyssal Demon task. All right, we have to do that one. We can't skip that one. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like five kills into the fucking task and I got another whip. Lol. Let's check the log. 456 Abyssal Demons and we now have three whips. What the hell? That's not even... The drop rate's 1 in 512. We have 3 in under that. That is crazy. What the hell? Alright, so I ran out of points trying to get my Kraken task. And I have about 316 tasks in a row. And I was thinking of, what about just getting tasks from Dirtle? If it's not a Kraken, trying to get Kraken from Neve. And then if that's not a Kraken, I cancel it at Birthorp. It'll take away my, my uh, Slayer streak. But it's not close to 100, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Don't really know. If it's efficient, not really sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but uh, yeah. So red is their nerfing Zora. I get a 187 cave kraken task. What the fuck? So I no longer have any slayer points. The task is almost over. 35 to go. And we have killed about... Let's see here. We've killed about 152 cave krakens. And I was AFK on H1Z1, almost didn't even pick it up, but we just got ourselves a trident in almost half the drop rate. That's pretty fucking good. I'm going to spend the rest of this task killing the boss, and uh, hopefully we get that tentacle and that pet. I'm never the one to ask for donations, but huge shout out to Magi Tom coming in with the bond. Thank you so much, man. So we did one inventory of Krakens. Uh, we only brought three prayer potions, so we didn't really last that long, but we killed 17 of them. This is the loot. Pretty good stuff right here. 100 raw monkfish was like my second drop. Uh, got these two drops back to back. That is really useful for farming. Some good drops. All right, you guys know the routine. This is the part of the episode where we show our stats from before the episode and after the episode. So if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you will see my, my current stats. And if you look in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you will see the stats before this episode. So uh, we're going to hop right into the bank. But just be aware that now we have a trident and expect to see a lot of Zora, a lot of God Wars Dungeon, and a lot of other bossing. I've never done Zora. I've never done any bossing on 07 yet. Uh, any bossing knowledge that I have was probably from pre-EOC. 
and uh, next episode's gonna be a lot of fun, and we got Dead Man series to look forward to, so I hope you guys enjoy the bank, and uh, are embodying out. Reaching out.